Uh, welcome to Funny Magnet. Uh, today I'll tell you how to replace the screen for Dell Latitude E6500. Uh, basically this is a very old model and um, you know very rare in use right now. But still I thought um, I have this laptop I can make a video on this. Okay. So there are two things you need. You need this opener and you need this uh, screwdriver. This is a star screwdriver okay all right so let's get started so if you can see i'm not sure if you can see here there is a crack okay so this screen is completely damaged like the 80 percent of the screen is just uh, not visible only a uh, few things you can see on the 20 percent of the screen so we need to get this screen replaced uh, this screen is easily available on Amazon so in case if you have this Dell Latitude E6500 you can order the screw uh, order the screen and by just using these two tools you can replace the whole screen so let's get started so first thing you need to see here if you can see there is a this is a there is attachment okay this is the first panel this is the second panel of the laptop so by just opening this you will able to remove this complete top okay so let's see how we are going to do this i'm just going to put a little pressure here like this there is there are no screws here okay normally uh, in few lab, laptops you get a screw here and this part but on this there is there is no screw so let's remove this just a uh, firm pressure okay do not press huge pressure because uh, you may damage the whole here we go so we have this thing now now oh, this is a frame okay the if you can see here there is a lock okay this lock get attached here that's why when you have to use a tool so like with kind of this i'm using this you know you can even try with a screwdriver or something i just uh, make sure that if you're using a screwdriver it uh, many time it happens that you may damage uh, the body itself so this plastic thing is okay for that okay so here we go there is a lock okay this lock get attached here in this like this so we'll keep this thing aside now uh, if you can see uh, if I zoom it a little bit I think you can see there is a screw here okay and also there is one screw here okay one screw this side and another one here okay so we'll remove this screws now just a little pressure and the screen will pop out Okay, you don't need to open all the screws. Okay, just these two screws will good enough. Okay, I'll tell you how that thing works. So now, pull the screen like this. Okay, do not pull it much. Just keep it down. Now, here is the 
the screen look like. Uh, this laptop, this screen is a completely different from others. Okay, so normally in screen in other laptops, the new version of the laptop, you don't get these kind of many connections. There is only one connection, that is this one. But in this, you have this for the data. This, there are these are the two inverters for the power. So you have to unplug this from here like this. Then you can unplug the other one like this and just be careful when you are opening this connector okay so I'm going to remove this like pressing there is a little mm -hmm. There's a little lock, you know, you just need to be careful and that will pop out. Here we go. So this is a connector, okay? So the screen, you can put the new screen. So this is the other screen now. Okay, so the same way we are going to do, we are going to put this thing back here and the same kind of inverter for the power thing will go here. Okay, so when you're putting uh, when you're putting the screen back, if you can, see, you know, I'm not sure if you can see in this camera. There is a little. Let me zoom it. Okay, no, this is not clear. Okay, let's try with this one. There is a little kind of a. This is a, this is actually steel and okay okay here we go I think this is good now. okay there are two kind of you know uh, a bold little kind of steel coming out from here this and one more here okay so this get in the side of the screen like. this so you make sure that you put that or uh, the little rod in the screen so this get you can see so it will not move now and then put this thing back here and put the screw in one more is there on the bottom of the screen here we go okay and this cables just put little inside once you're done put this thing up
and just press it you will able to hear a sound of the locks This top is completely based on So here we go we got a different screen here install okay so this is where you can install a new screen on Dell Attitude E6500 Thank you for watching the video and if you have any queries uh, you can comment below and uh, one thing I did not uh, uh, forget to mention in the video that while removing the screen make sure that you unplug the power connector and it will be good if you uh, you know if you will remove the battery also just in case you know if uh, if there's a power in the battery it may do kind of uh, short in the laptop okay thank you thank you for watching the video thank you